Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most asked questions in the chemistry classes. What is the difference between atoms and molecules? What is the similarity between atoms and molecules? And how to identify we talk about atoms or molecules? To do that, I'm going to answer the question by this basic definition we may find in our textbook. I'm going to remind you, if we say matters, anything has mass and occupy space. So we can classify matters by pure substances. And mixtures. For pure substances, we divide it by two groups. Elements and compounds. Right now, I'm going to talk about atoms and molecules. Atoms are a smallest piece of an element, a smallest piece of an element. So I'm going to write that. Building block of the elements are atoms. A smallest piece of the compound, we call them molecules. So building block of the compounds, we call it molecule. So molecules make compounds, atoms make elements. Right now, we find how atoms and molecules can act in compound and elements. Right now, we are going to know what is the similarity between atoms and molecules? What is the relationship between them? We may say molecules are made of atoms. So I may say here atoms make molecules. So it looks everything is ended to atoms. So whenever we start with the pure substance, it doesn't matter what type. At the end, we have atoms. At the end, we have atoms. But whenever we talk about elements, it means we talk about only atoms. Whenever we talk about the compounds, it means we talk about molecules. And then we may say molecules are made of atoms. So everything for matters in this side ends to atoms, ends to atoms. How about mixtures? Mixtures are combination of pure substances, pure substances. It means we are going to combine some pure substances. Pure substances, they are ending to atoms. So it looks everything ends to atoms. That is why in chemistry, we prefer to learn more information regarding the atoms, like number of electrons, protons, neutrons, atomic number, mass number, atomic weight, and so on. Right now, some other properties for molecules and atoms. All molecules of a compound are identical. So for example, if I'm talking about sugar, I'm talking about molecules of sugar. So molecules of sugar make this property for sugar that we call it, they are sweet. So if we are talking about salt, molecules of salt make some properties for salt that we may know that. Each molecule has the same number of atom and type of atoms. So this definition, so because we know that combination of atoms make molecules based on this definition. So always when we are going to talk about sugar molecules, we know that only specific atoms can make sugar molecules. For example, if we talk about sugar, the formula of sugar, we are going to learn that one in the next video is C12 H22O11 or any other form of sugars. This is the one 
formula for sure. Always these type of atoms, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, these type of atoms, type of atoms, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, with these numbers, 12 carbon, 22 hydrogen, and 11 oxygen, make sugar. So in the sugar, we don't have, for example, nitrogen. We don't have sulfur. As you see here in the formula, there is no hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur. That is why we say each molecule has the same number and type of atoms. It's going to make properties of the compound. It's going to make properties of pure substances, molecules. But atoms can be find any by any types or any combination to make different types of molecules. For example, when we say salt, like table salt, in ACL, always we have sodium and chlorine. One in A, one Cl. There is no oxygen, there is no hydrogen, there is no carbon in the table salt. So that is why we may say this is the one part of our compound. So that is why we say that only these two elements by this number of each one, one sodium, one chlorine can make table salt. So this is one example regarding the atoms and molecules by the definition. Hope you could get that one for your possible question. What is the difference between atoms and molecules and what is the similarity between them? Thank you for watching that video as well.